I'm Colin Wood, the Director of Editorial for Autoguide.com. And I'm Mike Swears, Chief Engineer for Toyota Pickup Trucks. And we're here to answer your questions about the 2014 Tundra. One forum member want to know, what have you done to improve the paint quality on the Tundra, and have you done anything else to help prevent rock chipping? We have. Uh, we changed the steel on the hood to an EG steel and changed the primer to better bond to that steel. So it allows us to have more flexibility of the paint and resist stone chipping from our past model. Another question submitted from our forums is, why isn't there a 120 volt outlet in the bed of the truck? Uh, we investigated putting a 120 volt uh, connector back there. The difficulty with a full-size truck is the customer base is different, their needs are different than what we see with a compact truck like Tacoma. So Tacoma we do have 120 volt outlet in the back, but the amount of wattage we can put out for a full-size customer's needs uh, would really uh, require a huge inverter in the vehicle and it has a lot of current draw and a lot of heat management is necessary and uh, not that we can't do it, we can, but it becomes cost prohibitive. We had about four or five people ask, why isn't there a keypad on the door? Honestly, that's kind of old technology, and uh, it's being replaced by new wireless entry. One forum question was, why can't you get the supercharger on the flex fuel engine? Uh, great question, and, and the answer is pretty simple. As we, as an industry, have a hard time reading the amount of alcohol concentration in the fuel. So every time you fill up, that changes. And could we offer the supercharge option? Yeah, I could, but to be able to do that and, and protect the engine from overcharging, I would have to dump a lot of the charge, and it's just not efficient at this moment.